Hey guys, this is Austin, and today my good buddy Matt is here to try to make a little bit of a different style of video. So this right here is an Intel NUC. Now you may have caught a video we did recently talking about a very unusual NUC, but this is a little bit more of a standard one. And at $400, you're getting a Core i5, you're getting a Thunderbolt port, there's a lot to like. Anyway, so the plan is very simple. This NUC is actually pretty hackintoshable. This is a quad core Core i5. Now with these NUCs, they don't come completely like out of, ready to go out of the box. So we have everything we need except for the RAM as well as the SSD. Matt's already installed that, but we have 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM as well as we have a 500 gigabyte SSD. So as far as putting that stuff together, it's really simple. Where it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, most likely, is that you actually have to Hackintosh it. So with this particular model, the Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth card uh, are not compatible with Mac OS. That's pretty common for Hackintosh. It, most it of the is. time that doesn't work. Yeah, uh, unfortunately with this one, um, it's actually soldered to the motherboard. That's the thing, with Hackintoshes, most of the time you can get like 80% there, but usually you're going to need like dongles, you're going to need like, yeah. like a USB DAC, or usually, especially when it comes to Wi-Fi, just plug in like a USB Wi-Fi card that is supported by Mac OS. Yeah. But just to give a little bit of a, a context here, right? Compared to a Mac Mini, so if we got the Core i3 version, which is quad core, so it's yep. roughly equivalent, 16 gigs of RAM, which is what we have in here, and a 512 gig SSD, the Mac Mini would cost $1,400 straight from Apple. This all in is what, like $600? 600. 650 tops for our configuration, depending yeah. on the, the spec of, you know, the brand of RAM and, and uh, SSD you went with. The important thing is we can actually hook up an external GPU to this guy. So in theory, we're getting like iMac level performance for a third the price. I mean, oh, I guess we don't have a monitor, easily. but. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things you do need, and unless things have changed, you do need a Mac to do a lot of the setup, right? Yeah, you, uh, so you have to have an existing Mac, which I have here. Then you'll prep it with something called uh, Unibeast which will create a bootable uh, USB drive, which, which is right here, already we have installed. right there, as well as some configuration things. You were definitely losing some things when you're going with a Hackintosh, but just considering that this is smaller than a Mac Mini, it should be roughly equivalent, and we're talking about something that costs less than half the price, I think it might be worth the gamble. I just, I'm just really curious to see how well it works. First of all, shout out to Quinn. Snazzy Q, he had a great video on, it was, was this a, exact this, model. The exact model yeah. of the NUC, um, so yeah. His had less memory though. I mean, uh, well, yeah, sorry, obviously storage. we had to be superior. Yeah. We can't, we can't do a lamer version of a video that someone's already done. We have to do a better version. Otherwise it's stealing. Um, so if I fire this up, it should start to boot, right? Yeah, it will boot into the NUC splash screen first and then it should go into the Clover boot uh, screen. Okay. which is how we're tricking it. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like, I love doing like Hackintosh stuff, but like, it's such a headache, right? Like, there's just so many random little issues that you run into yeah. that, I mean, it's cool. And I think it's one of those things where it's maybe not like a, a badge of honor for a nerd, like, oh, I built a computer and oh, I you know, made a Hackintosh. But it's one of those things where you have to have some patience. You have to kind of really sort of learn how to do it and be ready to tinker on things, right? Because it will break. So it looks like we are into the language setup. Yes. So uh, this is a slow process. Over USB 2, it literally took like 20 minutes to boot. Nuckintosh, do 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 do. Nuckintosh, do 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 How do you like it? Oh, here's, no. a, here's a thing. Reboot and select proper media boot to device. So uh, I'm actually going through here. Uh, this is recommending that we actually format it as Mac OS extended as opposed to Apple file. Yeah, so Is okay. that something we wanna do? Let's try that again. All right, so we figured out what the problem was. Um, it was less the formatting that was the problem, but uh, more that we didn't have the APFS driver for the SSD. So when we tried to boot, it just didn't see it. Because we're doing Mojave, yes. it needed this additional driver. Which was literally, we just had to drop it onto the flash drive. It saw everything, it booted up, and now we're actually properly installing everything onto the SSD. Correct. So in theory, in nine minutes, we will have a working copy of Mojave. We'll have a copy of Mojave with almost no working drivers. Okay, it is day two, and I think Matt has made progress while I was not here. What's up? Uh, it's mostly working. Okay, so we, we see the Core i5, yep. we see our 16 gigs of DDR4, we also see the Iris Plus graphics. So the cool thing is this NUC does share the exact same processor from the mid-spec Core i5 13-inch MacBook Pro. Mind you, no battery, no screen and stuff. We're looking at $2,200 for this pretty much exact same performance. And yet we got it for $600 and a couple of sleepless, I mean, sleepless nights for Matt. 
So what is not working? I see we're hooked up to ethernet. Is the Wi-Fi not working? We do have an external uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi adapter, but it's currently not working. You can't actually restart the computer in right now. I'm so you have to turn it off and manually turn it back yeah, on? Yeah, if you try and restart it, it uh, they actually go in the menu and restart, it, it just freezes. Um, so you have to hard restart it currently. Do we have Geekbench installed? We do. Okay, cool, let's give that a try. For the most part, we now have a Mac that is up and running right now. Yeah, you could, I mean, if you're doing light tasks right now, you could totally be using this system. Oh wow, that's really fast. 5,020 on the single core and 17,838 on multi-core. So that's actually faster than the 13-inch Mac Pro. It's about 400 points higher on the single thread and over 1,000 points higher on multi-thread, which kind of makes sense because the 13-inch MacBook, even though it has that same processor, it's uh, you know it's a thin, small MacBook, so it's, this has it's... more cooling for yeah. sure. This is a Gigabyte RX 580. The 580 is one of the better supported cards under Mac OS. This is the exact same GPU that you'll find in, for example, the 5K iMac. And generally speaking, I know we've used this with Macs before and it works yes. pretty well. Uh, so it's plugged natively, into this work, Natively, the 580 works in Mojave. It shows Iris Plus graphics. So yes. let's switch the HDMI over and see if this it actually works. When I tried this before, it did not show me that until um, until I plugged this in. Because so the GPU is spinning. We have our, our LEDs. Oh, immediately. Immediately, yeah. Immediately, okay. So, so let's make sure this is actually showing up. RX 580. So we have external GPU, we have 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD, this tiny little box, and the entire package is less than I mean, less than the Mac Mini yeah. by a lot, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're looking at what, what the, how much does the 580 cost right now? It's I'm, like 400 bucks, right? I'm not sure off the time ahead, but it's a solid little box and it's cheap. This is exactly $400. And yeah. this is the higher end eight gig SKU. So for almost exactly $1,000, yeah. we have the NUC, we have 16 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig super fast PCI SSD, and we have an RX 580. Dude. So that, my friends, is building the Nuckintosh. Now, I really think the next thing we have to do is put this side by side with an actual Mac Mini, which costs much more. Yeah. I mean, we even have a GPU and will still be cheaper than yeah. the Mac Mini. Good job, Matt. Thanks for doing all the hard work and let me uh, show up and... What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no.